hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we are going to see what are crud operation in mysql so crud is basically known as create read update and delete okay so to create we have to use insert command to read we have to use select command to update we will use update command and to delete we will use delete command okay so let let us first see how you will insert a date insert some data into the table so first we are going to see insert to insert a data into a table uh, we have to use insert command the basic syntax is insert into table name and then you have to use values so there are two approach i will use both of those approach so values then you can uh, insert the values in the order so for example we were having the id 101 name abc and uh, then i guess we were having gender male and uh, after that we have age so 20 is the age okay so let me show you this approach in my sql only now let me insert some data here so what i'm doing insert this is what our approach one okay so insert into student i hope it is visible to you student and then values so what values i am going to insert i have to follow this particular order id student name gender and age so 101 is the id and uh, name is uh, abc and uh, gender is uh, male and uh, age is 20 okay so i forgot to add a comma now let me insert so this row has been inserted now what is the another approach so you can use this approach to insert any other data also let me just copy it and uh, then if i will use 102 from abc i can use pqr male i can use female and 20 21 whatever okay so this is another data i has i have inserted now what is the insert another approach that is called approach 2 so in this case what i will i can do i can just use any order so what i have to do insert into student then i have to use the uh, table structure so let me just describe the table again uh, actually not here i can describe it from here okay so in this case id student gender and age okay so i have to use the same column name here so id then student underscore name then gender then age and then i can use the values so for example id is 108 the student name is uh, maybe test and uh, gender is male okay and uh, age is 24 okay so in this way i can insert another data and uh, here one twist is you can insert uh, maybe one or two column if that is not at all uh, if it is not a null okay column so for example i wanted to insert id and student name only okay so in this way i can use it student underscore name and then what i wanted to insert values 112 and student name is maybe anything whatever uh, unknown okay so what i have done wrong yeah insert it into student now in this way i can insert some more data as you can see one row has been affected now 
if you uh, have seen that i have not inserted two more column the reason being if i will do with any other thing for example if i forgot to insert the id so i just i am just insert inserting student underscore name then age and then i am inserting what gender okay so in this case what will happen let me show you for example 182 whatever it is uh, maybe mm, this is a dummy data and uh, age is 20 and uh, gender is female okay now if i will do this it will throw me error that column count does not match value count at row 1 so what has happened uh, first of all i had made a mistake this should not be here now if i will insert this particular thing let me show you what will happen this will throw me the error that field id doesn't have a default value so as we have already created the id as primary key it cannot be null you have to provide it so as you can see i can uh, insert uh, data without inserting the data for age and gender because they are not a primary key and they can be null okay so how i am saying this if i will just show you the dsc of student again you will able to know this approach what is happening so here you can see null so he, yes 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 and uh, in the top it is says as no so it cannot be null simply id cannot be null uh, although other columns can be null if you wanted to show me another approach if i will just remove the student name and i will just insert any other id uh, for example 116 uh, okay so this will be inserted perfectly so this is uh, known as inserting into a table okay now let us see uh, how you can read the data from the table so for that we can use select so if you want to select all the record you can use select strict from a student okay or select a star from a student now you can see all the data which i have inserted right so this is the data which i have inserted a b c p q r test unknown and all these things now if you want to only see some particular column you can just select id and student underscore name from student table okay so this will only show you two two things okay so this is what this is our select statement or you can see read how you can read or how you can fetch the data from the table now let me show you how you can update the data update the data okay so for example i wanted to update the data for 116 i haven't provided any name for 116 okay so to update the data you just have to use update uh, update statement update then it will be uh, syntax something like this update table and table name then what you have to do uh, what you wanted to set for example i wanted to set the one column uh, that column name and then you can just set the value okay so let me see how you can do update then student table name then set uh, student underscore name so here you have to use the where clause uh, although we haven't learned yet but uh, where clause is just basically a condition where you wanted to apply this particular thing so where i am using id equal to 116 so id 116 is this record and this record is null i am setting student name as uh, for example cloud mm. or maybe ram or maybe anything for example yeah cloud okay so id is 116 just update the student table and set the student name 
so uh, once i will uh, execute this you can see the student name has been updated okay to cloud okay so in this way you can do this uh, for example i wanted to update the age for the same student so what i have to do i just need to follow the same approach and uh, instead of a student name i can use age and uh, for example i wanted to update the age to 20 i can also give this kind of expression where the id is this okay update the student set age equal to this one mm, it is giving error okay now you can see i have updated the age as uh, let me also take the age you can also use the where clause here so let me use where id equal to 116 now you can see this particular record and age has been updated to 20 okay so in this way you can use the update statement whatever you wanted to do just remember you cannot do multiple things you can only use update statement to do one thing at a time okay now uh, quickly let us see how you can delete a record or how you can delete the rows from a table okay so let me first show you how you can delete one row okay uh, and also in the update statement if i wanted to set the student name as cloud uh, if i will run this query uh, without having a where clause what will happen it will update all the student name to cloud so for example if you can see as of now uh, let me just show you this particular query this is returning student name abc pqr test unknown and cloud if i will run this query without having a where clause what will happen it will set the cloud for each and every student okay uh, but what is happening we are using the safe mode so mm, 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 actually i have to disable the safe mode then only it will be uh, successfully run uh, so let me just uh, run some query okay uh, let us forget this thing as of now let me just uh, run the delete statement so if you want to delete uh, one row you can use delete from a student where id equal to uh, let me see some data id equal to one one two okay so let's see if it is running or not yeah so it has been successfully run uh, now let me again select star from student let me see if 112 has been deleted or not so you can see 112 has been deleted okay successfully so this is the thing we can do if we wanted to delete each and every data from the table we can just use delete from student this particular statement so this will delete all the data from the student uh, but again it will be saying that you are using a safe mode uh, you have to disable this safe mode to disable the safe mode what i have to do tell the options and preference and reconnect Okay, so that's a lengthy process, mm, but still, let me use some other commands. So this command will disable the save mode okay now if I wanted to do this particular thing uh, updating the student set the student name is cloud I can do this particular thing by just selecting this query 
I can run it and uh, if I will show you the data <laughs> you can see that every student name has been updated to cloud right every student name is updated to cloud and similarly if I wanted to delete each and everything from the student I will just remove this where clause and uh, if I will run this query delete from student it will delete each and every record okay now if you will select a star from it will return zero rows right returning zero rows before that the select star from was returning four rows right so these are the things we can do with the CRUD operations like creating a uh, creating means inserting the data into the table then fetching means reading the data from the table updating the data from to the table and uh, also deleting any data from the table so these are the things we can do with CRUD operations thank you so much for watching this video have a nice day